Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Stitch Podcast. On today's video, we'll be talking about another Blood Hunt tie-in. That is the Amazing Spider-Man Blood Hunt number three. This closes out the arc for this little mini-series that ties into the bigger event. Uh, but let's talk about the creative team before we get into this book. This book is written by Justina Ireland with pencils by Marcella Ferreira and Chris Campana. Inks by Roberto Poggi and Craig Young. Uh, colors by Rachel Rosenberg. Letters by Travis Landham and a main cover by Marcelo Ferreira where, with uh, with Poggi and Rosenberg. Um, so what's been going on here? So this is the book where we're trying to save Morbius, uh, who is also trying to find the cure for vampirism. Uh, so like everything is connected. We have a really interesting team up of uh, Misty Knight, the Amazing Spider-Man, and also the Lizard. Uh, we also see that Morbius and Colleen Wing have been taken in by this um by the hemoglobin ink uh so in this issue uh we see that morbius is the one man close enough to a cure for vampirism the vampires of the world cannot allow the cure to be reached spider-man has misty knight colleen wing and the lizard on his side but it won't be enough well that seems kind of a downer um uh, because i think it was enough uh, i think definitely uh this is a very interesting team. I think out of all the tie-ins, uh, as far as this one, this feels overall pretty inconsequential to the main Blood Hunt story, but it's still a fun one, right? It's not as closely tied in as the Avengers or the Dracula miniseries, uh, but it really feels like, okay, there's, there's something going on here. Uh, we have some really fun, interesting group dynamics. Uh, I think Ireland really understands how to write a fun Spider-Man, uh, but also a Spider-Man that cares about Morbius, right? Morbius and Spider-Man have such a long, uh, just a relationship that's been around for so long. Uh, sometimes it's antagonistic. Sometimes it's more of like they're trying to help each other, but they, do, they just don't know how to do it exactly. And I think this is where we are in, the, in one of those cases. Now, as any good miniseries, like sometimes it does bring a lot of the status quo back into the fold, uh, uh, you know, which is, is fine. I think it's, as long as it's a fun ride, you know, I don't mind starting in the same, uh, I don't mind going back to the same starting point as long as the ride was fun. You know, that's kind of what roller coasters are. You go in, you have a good time, and then you kind of come back to the same starting point. Uh, but you've definitely had an experience. That's what this book feels like to me. So uh, let's talk about some of the, the art. We do have multiple artists here, and uh, their styles are so similar that I was never able to pinpoint which artist was doing which page and i think that's really good on the editorial side uh sometimes a story like this can feel disjointed uh but no, it doesn't happen here which is great uh i think it's really fun that both artists are able to collaborate uh and and make sure that their work is integrated enough uh, now some other people may have a more keen eye than mine uh, and you'll be like what are you talking about the art's so different but yeah great fights really dynamic i love the the spider-man poses in this book are insane uh, and then we do see that Colleen Wynn has been turned into a vampire. So how is the team going to deal with that? Will Morbius find the cure for everyone? Uh, you just got to have to read this last issue to find out. But yeah, this was this was uh, a whole lot of fun. Uh, and I really enjoyed this last issue. Uh, like I said, one of my favorite times, even though it's pretty overall inconsequential to the Blood Hunt event. But not everything has to be like super tied in. I appreciate that Marvel is giving the readers an option to see like how, how far do you want to go into the blood hunt, right? Uh, so if you have read this, let me know what did you think about it down in the comments. As always, thank you for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe. Uh, stay tuned. We have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff in the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.